It's Math Awareness Month, which this year has a special focus on Martin Gardner, original popularizer of things like flexagons. To celebrate, the website mathaware.org is running a daily surprise video on things like magic braids, also known as trick braids, because I'm pretty sure there has to be some kind of trick to making a braid without any of the loose ends. And technically there is, because although trick braids appear to be braids, they aren't actually braids at all, since you have to do twisting movements at the bottom rather than continuously braiding the strands downwards. So it looks like a braid, but really you're cheating and using some moves that aren't allowed. The classic trick braid that everyone seems to talk about looks like a three-strand braid, and it's about as cool as a three-state trihexaflexagon, which is pretty cool for a while until you start to get bored and wish that it would do something else. Surely there's something a little bit more fancy that we could do, like make a hexahexaflexagon, or maybe a five-strand trick braid? In fact... For any odd number of strands, there exists a neat trick braid that looks kind of like this. If you want to figure out how to make one on your own, I suggest pausing the video now. If not, pull out that strip of paper that you were about to make a flexagon with, cut some slits in it to make five strands, and let's get started. One, take the leftmost strand and cross it over two strands to the middle of the braid. Two, then take the rightmost strand and do the same thing, but you have to cross the left this time since it's on the right. Repeat these steps. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After ten iterations, our strands are back in the original order. We're done! Except now the bottom looks pretty messy and tangled. Never mind. That was a disaster. Or was it? Maybe we should try cheating and doing some moves that aren't actually allowed. Let's try untangling just the leftmost strand of our braid by taking the bottom and just following it through to unweave it. Through here, and over here, and the whole thing is untangled? Now that's magic. But if you're inclined to believe it's not, here's something to think about. Was the leftmost strand special? Or is something else going on?